Proclaiming the grand opening of Cairo's National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, NMEC, ancient pharaohs were respectfully paraded through the capital with elaborate fanfare. Nestled inside each golden chariot were the esteemed mummified remains of 18 male and four female sovereigns. The all-powerful Queen Hatshepsut, as well as Ramesses II, who reigned for 67 years, formed part of the lavish display. Emblazoned with the relevant monarch's name and equipped with shock absorbers to cushion the valuable cargo and ensure a smooth ride, each sepulchral carriage advanced ceremonially to its new repository, the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, a low-level edifice crowned with a pyramid. Bespoke display cases monitoring ambient temperature and humidity will soon cradle each ancient leader in an environment reminiscent of a burial chamber. The pharaonic sarcophagi will be showcased to visitors within a fortnight. By then, the sovereign's precious remains will have been painstakingly extracted from the nitrogen-filled capsules used in transit and laboratory restoration meticulously carried out. Keen Egyptophiles have already begun flocking to the museum. Uh, yesterday we watched uh, the parade uh, on the television and so we came today to the museum and it's really uh, really beautiful, really exceptional. We're so happy to be able to see uh, all of the Egyptian uh, uh, products and uh, statues here uh, now. The proud custodian of the exhibits is the NMEC's Asma Said. Why it is called the Civilization Museum is because for us here, the most important thing is the concept of civilization, not a specific time or a specific era. Every showcase tells a story or a different concept of civilization. We connect all civilizations here.